Hey guys, welcome back. We're back outside doing a little bit more planting. Just kind of check to see how everything is going out in the garden. But then we've also got one of our birdie beds from Epic Gardening that we're going to get planted with some root vegetables. I think we have beets and radishes we're going to get in there today. And then we're going to try something a little bit different. We're going to plant some peanuts. I've got a, I believe it's a 20 gallon um, grow bag that we're going to fill up with compost and that's where we're going to plant all of our peanuts. Um, other than that, I'll give you a kind of an update on how things are going out here in the garden. We've had a lot of rain. That with the early fertilizer from the Biotone has done a fantastic job in getting everything started. Starting out with our cucumbers, everything is growing real well, and these are our green beans. I wasn't sure if we were going to have much in the way taken off from this, but as it stands right now, we've got about eight of the Blue Lake pole beans, and about six of the Kentucky green beans that are starting, pole beans are starting to grow. Doesn't look like we have much. Doesn't look like any of our cabbages come up, so we're gonna have to replant all of that. And it looks like I have one zucchini. The garlic is doing awesome, it's putting a lot of growth on, and you can start to see a lot of the stalks are getting real thick, so that's exactly what we're looking for. And we're starting to get our scapes coming in. And remember with the scapes, you don't start harvesting until they start to, to twirl. Our buttercups are doing great. And so are kukuzi. That are delicata squash planted right over here and nothing is coming up. I kind of dug in to see how the seeds were doing to see if there's any sort of growth or anything and nothing. The seeds are all just kind of mushy. They aren't having, showing any signs of germination. They've been in here for quite a while. So we're gonna mix things up. We're gonna plant something a little different. I'm gonna go ahead and plant some fennel in here. So these get planted about six inches apart. So I'm gonna do just a little section of them here and then we'll probably go to the store in the next coming weeks and I'll pick something up to put in this area. So they get pretty wide and tall, about 30 inches tall and about 16 to 24 inches wide. So what I'll end up doing is I'll just do probably about five or six and then do a little group planting of them with them being six inches apart. Section of about nine. Four or five seeds per, thin out when I need to. So we're gonna split this into a quadrant. So we're gonna mix everything up, loosen the soil up. With all the rain we've had, everything's kind of starting to compact down a little bit. So this is again all compost, purple cow compost. We're going to split this into a quadrant. And I'm going to put our beets towards the back because the tops of the beets can get to be about 12 inches tall and uh, the sun's coming from the south, so I do not want it to interfere with the growth of our radishes, which are much smaller and much shorter. we got two different types of beets that we're going to be planting. Golden Detroit. We have our gold blood. And then in the front, we're going to be planting our watermelon radishes, some early scarlet radishes. In the front, we'll be planting our watermelon radishes. You may have heard me reference these garden beds in this video and others in the past, and they're called birdie beds. I picked them up from EpicGardening.com. These beds are 30 inches tall and made of a lightweight alu zinc galvanized 24 gauge steel. They are rust and corrosion resistant. There is no leaching or breaking down, so you can trust that they're safe to grow in. The assembly is easy, as you can see. They have a variety of shapes and sizes to design your own garden. 
Starting on Saturday, June 1st, Epic Gardening will be running a Father's Day sale running until June 9th. Remember to head over to EpicGardening.com to check out the birdie beds and use discount code BOGLIFE in all caps for an extra 5% off your order and for a full 25% off of those beds until June 9th. Quite as high as I want it to be. So I'm just going to top it off with a little bit of potting mix and mix it all in. Fertilizer, slow release biotone, mix that into the surface. Doing Virginia peanuts. Spacing is about four to six inches. Takes about 80 to 90 days to mature. That's it for back here. Now it's time to plant some of the things in Griffin's garden. See what we have left over for seeds and we might move some things over to some pots. All right, for Griffin's garden, we've up in the front, we've got a mini mint. These are like a creeping mint that should fill up this area, almost like a ground cover and spill over. Got a lemon basil in the center. In the back, we've got a patio tomato. So this tomato are like a cherry style, but shouldn't get much more than two or three feet tall. So it's a determinate variety. And then we have our stevia that'll be over here in the corner. The boys like picking all of these. It's just kind of like snacking, something just to, just to munch on. Same thing with the tomatoes. And lastly, over here in a single pot, we're gonna have our Space Master cucumbers, which you can see are doing real well. We're already starting to get to see some flowers. So this is gonna, we have a trellis for here that's gonna trace up the side. So what do you have in your garden? I mini mints, tomatoes. Right. What's this? Stevia, basil. What's that? Cucumber. Perfect. All right. Let's go finish the backyard, okay? Griffin's garden wasn't the only thing we found some gaps in. So we picked up a few other things and I'll show you as we put them into the ground, uh, kind of fill some space that we didn't have anything growing and just to add a little bit more variety. Now over here we planted our fennel, up here our acorn squash and some of our kukuzis. And up here, I think what we're gonna do is some pepperoncini peppers. We're just gonna place them here in the corner because this is where our delicata squashes were originally and they're just not coming in. Now in here is where we originally planted our cabbage and that didn't come up either. So we picked up a cell of four cabbage, the discovery ones, and we'll do four varieties, just space them straight in a line. Hey, 
And the last gap we have is our zucchini area. I've got one zucchini coming up and none of the rest of the zucchinis have broken out. They've been in here for about two weeks and one's popped, none of the rest have germinated. So we're gonna do a little bit of a cheat here, an Aristocat zucchini, plant that right in here. We still have our striped Italians, but we're gonna plant this one here. And it looks like there's multiple coming off, so maybe I'll plant another one right here. And in the back of the bed here, <clears throat> I didn't really have a real big plan. So I picked up this, it is a loofah sponge. Uh, it is in the family of a cucumber. So there's three on here, so I'm gonna space them out. It looks like they're pretty good about being trellis climbers. So I'm gonna throw them in here and have them climb the trellis so we have something back here. They're falling apart real nice and separating. And that fills the gaps in the actual planting of the vegetables. Any sort of bare area that we didn't have anything planned now actually has something to take up that space. Now, there's one more bed that we need to fill in. The annual bed that's up in the front, this is one of the birdie beds, like the other ones I planted earlier in the video. When we planted all of this last year, we kind of went overboard, planted too much, and we planted some uh, super tunias, but the super tunias ended up getting kind of cast out and sh overshadowed by the potato vines. We had three potato vines in here. So this year we learned a lesson. We're gonna divide it into three. We got our grass that's gonna grow in the center. This is a purple fountain grass. And then we're gonna have over here our Supertunia Bordeaux. And on the other side is our Supertunia Royal Velvet. And we're gonna divide this into thirds. So we've got our lime potato vine that's gonna go up here towards the front because it'll fill this area out and spill over. Our Supertunias will be in the back third, so they'll connect here and kind of fill in this gap and also spill over. Like everything else, we did everything with Biotone to get it started. Now we want a lot of blooms and heavy growth out of the Supertunia, so I'll come back probably in the next two weeks, do a liquid fertilizer, and we'll be regularly fertilizing the Supertunia to make sure they get heavy, fast growth and spill out over the sides. Now we did have some leftover jalapenos that we didn't put into the garden just because we didn't have just because we didn't have enough space. And we are going to be using a lot of jalapenos this year, at least that's the plan. So rather than throwing those away, we're actually going to plant them in pots and put them up on the porch. Now, the other thing that we didn't plant in the garden and we've always grown these in pots is our rosemary. First one is gonna be a culinary rosemary. And the last one is gonna be a barbecue rosemary. All right guys, so everything's planted. We've got our rosemary and jalapenos in the pots. We'll get those watered and put up on the porch behind me. That's where we're gonna end up keeping them because in the past we've had peppers out there and they've done really well. Uh, we get a lot of growth out of things. We, as long as we stay on top of keeping it watered because it does get hot and it does get really sunny up there. Griffin's garden's all set and ready to rock, okay. except for trellising the cucumbers and staking the tomatoes. Everything is planted in the main garden and like Griffin's garden, the next step will be trellising the cucumbers and tomatoes and then developing a fertilizing routine, but that's all for a future video. Remember to head over to epicgardening.com to check out the birdie beds and use discount code BOGLIFE in all caps for an extra 5% off your order and for a full 25% off of those beds until June 9th. And that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.